on to today's video, we are going to be dispelling the Amsoil 35,000 mile grain interval on this Jetta TDI. So, before I even go into the uh, challenge and the videos that I'm going to be doing on that, I want to first of all tell you that I am not telling you to do what I'm about to do. I'm not encouraging you to do what I'm about to do, okay? I do this for my own testing and my own information. If you want to use whatever oil X insert and you want to use whatever drain interval that you want to use and it makes you sleep better at night, then by all means, do so. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to document this and satisfy my own curiosity like I've done with this car for the last 22 years and it's working quite well. So with that being said, let me tell you what we're going to do. On May the 27th, 2018, at the mileage point of 386,000, I'm sorry, 376,000, and 900 miles, I changed the oil over to the Amsoil 5W30 diesel oil, the Series 3000, okay? Previous in this whole car's life, I've been using the Amsoil 15W40 heavy duty diesel and marine oil, which is a very strong and robust oil. Um, it has a very high TBN content, but it's an old, kind of old technology. The oil came out, I think, in the, maybe around somewhere in the 80s, late 80s. But anyway, uh, that's what I have been using for the last, gosh, 20 years. So I wanted to try the Series 3000 5W30 so that I could see if I was gonna get any mileage increase. Now it's complete upgraded technology as far as oil goes, the additive package. It's supposed to be better oil, but we'll see. So what I'm gonna do is at three, the car right now at this day, this is January the 26th, 2020. I have 386,379 miles on the car, exactly. At 386,900, or as close as I can get it, maybe it'll go over a little bit, I am going to change just the filter. Now, Amsoil no longer makes a filter for this car anymore. I have been using either Hinks, Molly, or Wix. They're all three excellent filters. Now keep in mind, I believe I have a Molly filter on this, and it's been in there over a year and almost 10,000 miles. So what I'm gonna do is when we get to the mileage point where it's got 10,000 miles on the oil, I'm going to remove the filter, put a new filter back on there. I'm gonna pull an oil sample. We're gonna send it off to Blackstone Labs and we're gonna keep rolling. The second video after that, I will reveal the oil analysis report to you guys from Blackstone Labs. I will remove the filter, which will have another 10,000 miles on it, put a new filter on there, pull another oil sample, send it off to Blackstone Labs. On the video after that, now we'll have 30,000 miles on the oil. I'll pull the filter off and put a new filter on there. Send the, uh, take an oil sample, send it off to Blackstone Labs. Now, why am I doing this? Is it to save money? Well, obviously not because the oil analysis tests cost about $35. Okay, so I'm gonna be spending over $100 just on oil tests alone. Now obviously that would erase any savings benefit, but I'm not doing it for that. I wanna see how far I can push the oil in this engine. Now, if 
if I was doing this in the Mercedes, I couldn't really use this data, or in my truck, I couldn't use this data, but that oil in this engine, because inside, there's the engine conditions inside this engine are different than all these cars I'm passing on the road. And my driving is pretty much 99% uh, stop and go driving now, okay? A lot of my trips are really short. Some of them are six miles or less. And, you know, we get eh, cold temperatures, you know, get down in the 20s. But uh, that's very harsh conditions on oil. So I want to see if this oil is better for this engine than what I was previously using. Now, if at any time I get to the point where the uh, oil report comes back and there is some issue, some degradation of the oil, whatever, you know, anything could happen. I could have a, a fuel injector start leaking. I could have a coolant leak. I don't know. We'll see. <coughs> Excuse me, but then of course I'll terminate the test. Now, if it if it doesn't go to 30 or 35,000 miles, then <clears throat> I'll switch back to the 1540 and, and do the same test with that. So for you guys, this is no more anything than just entertainment, okay? You do what you want with your own vehicle. Now I have been using the Amsoil for since 91, so that's what, almost 30 years. And I've seen the inside of this engine up under the valve cover, and there's absolutely positively, it looks perfect under there. I've taken apart every single oil filter for years and years and years and never anything in there. I've got tons of oil analysis reports. But keep in mind, this engine has almost 400,000 miles. It will, at one point, eventually, it's gonna fail at some point. I don't care how good AMS oil is. I don't care if you're using space shuttle oil. This engine, while it's wearing very minimally, it's still wearing and will eventually wear out. I want to, when I bought this car 22 years ago, I said I want to drive it to at least 500,000 miles without having to do any major engine or transmission repair. It's had one clutch, multitude of timing belts, which is why I took the valve covers off, and a couple injection pumps, turbo, some other things, but most of that was warranty stuff. Uh, but we'll see. I want to uh, I want to include you guys in this now. Look, feel f I read every single comment you guys post, good or bad. A lot of them make me laugh. Um, and you keep posting whatever you feel you want to post. If you think this is the dumbest thing and you're going to destroy your engine, and just keep in mind, I've been doing this for 22 years. Now I know there are people that have these Jettas and they go, you know, four or five hundred thousand miles and they're probably just using whatever oil and that's fine. You know, there. I was in the camp before I started using Amsoil. I used Castrol GTX conventional oil and changed it religiously every three thousand miles and if anybody went over that, I would say you're an idiot. But times have changed. Oil has changed. Oil has made significant leaps and bounds in chemistry and the additive packages and oil is so much better now my i guess one of my things is i don't want you guys to waste money okay changing oil by mileage is it doesn't tell you anything all right so if the oil manufacturer or if the car manufacturer says you need to change your oil We'll say every 5,000 miles or 7,500 or whatever. Uh, there is a, a margin of error in there because they know some people are going to use junky oil. Some, you know, it doesn't matter. Even if you're using Walmart synthetic Walmart SuperTech, which isn't a bad oil, Mobile One's not a bad oil. It's just not the best oil you can get. Why not use the best? And for you, for those of you that use Mobile One and you're changing it at 5,000 miles, you're wasting your money. That oil will go so much further than that. 
In fact, Walmart Supertech will go further than 5,000 miles. But again, I'm not telling you when to change it. You do whatever you want to do, okay? Until, you know, you paying your bills, do, do what makes you sleep good at night. But I wouldn't. If I started using, you know, Walmart Super Tech, I would do a bunch of oil analysis to find out how long that oil will go in this engine or whatever engine I'm using and then start doing it then. So the whole point of this is to put this to bed. All right, I will show you guys the, the actual reports that I get back from Blackstone Labs. And whatever they say, they say, and we will uh, report that to you. I will show you exactly what they say. Um, again, because I haven't used this particular oil in this car, I'm not exactly sure what the results. If it's better than the 1540, then I, you know, I'll say we're, we may even be doing this to 40,000 miles. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I wanted to uh, just let you guys know what is going to be going on. Now, unlike with the Mercedes uh, that got wrecked with a deer jumping out in front of me, we were doing that test. Hopefully, uh, I will drive this car as much as I can, and I will uh, will pray together that nothing happens to this car while, you know, who knows? I've had it for 22 years. I've got deer that run out in front of me all the time, and I've been able to avoid them. But, you know, I'm going to try to drive and put as many miles as I can on this vehicle. Uh, I have been putting more miles, but, you know, I'll do the best I can to speed up the time that um, it's going to take to do this. So I anticipate probably two weeks or so before I get to... 386-900 um, so hopefully I'll be able to get there quick I'm here at the filling station I'm gonna grab some diesel for this unit and uh, guys please if you uh, leave comments I do read every single comment I may not respond to all of them uh, but I do read them all and constructive you want to make fun of me whatever hey man it's all good it does it's, it doesn't bother me so anyway, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit that notification bell so you will be notified the instant I upload another video. And I will talk to you guys on the next video.